Evening, everyone. Welcome to the game stream, or I guess second art stream. Um, tonight I'm gonna to do Mario Paint, and uh, so let's go ahead and jump into it. Um, let's see. All right, cool. So th this is emulated, of course, but um, I, I played this game a lot as a kid. I'm, I, there's a lot of st cool stuff on the title screen. If you haven't, if you've never seen this game, there's a lot of fun stuff on the title screen. Let's go ahead and do that before we start drawing. Remember to push the letters. Yeah, I'm about to. So M. Oh, M makes him small. M makes a bootleg uh, shrieking noise. That that is really terrible sounding. What's A do? Oh, <laughs> I got him. R. I don't like that flesh eye. I wonder what it's saying. It's, there's probably some Japanese. What's I? Oh, invert. Inverted. The M stands for Mario. Or for Mayo. For Mini. The M stands for Medium because Mario is Medium. Oh. Oh, it's a bomb! Look out! Oh, Tataka song. That's cute. The thing is saying Nintendo backwards. Interesting. It's always funny how that last part's so delayed. Okay, so P. Oh, P for park. Oh, I can't go lower than that? That's weird. I can't go higher than that either. This car is the only one making the sound it should be making. Goodbye, park. Second A. Oh, it's Yoshi. Remember when he made that noise? For some reason, he just doesn't do that anymore. If you're a super gamer, you can click on the star that flies past. Oh, I should try that. But first, N. Oh, oh, okay. I'm glad the end did that and not something else I was worried about. Now I don't have to worry about uh, my stream being inappropriate. Turn that off. T. I can paint. Got you. Got you. Got you. Got you. And don't come back. I got you. The voice acting really ruined Mario's voices. Speedrun complete. Okay, so where's the where's the star at? It just kind of flies by. Okay, let's 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 go for the star. It's like Banjo Kazooie. Two times two equals two. <laughs> Genius. There's a thing in the credits you might want to know about. Okay, I'll try it out. There's um, what's the cutest vehicle? Is it a car? Oh, oh, I missed it. Ah, oh, fuck. Wait, I know what to do. Got it, all skills. Are they gonna fall, fall forever? Wait, I don't remember that bear. What the fuck is that bear head? I don't remember that. Rewinding art is never, is not something I never expected to see in life. Uh, it's called uh, undo. Okay, I have the pass so I can click the end. I'm late because the donkey slipped out of the front gate. What the fuck are you talking about? Control Z is only pain for only pain when writing. Honestly, undo like it's so weird when it comes to like typing. There's a thanks to who? That is gonna be me. I basically live in a farm and the damn donkey slipped out when I was pulling in. Top three things you don't want to hear in the bed with your with your significant other. Click on the end of Mario Paint on the touch screen. As the credits roll, look for the programmer. 
Press the right mouse button and click the end with the left button. This will unlock the right mouse button for use. Huh? Okay, programmer Noriaki Terum. Uh, did I already miss that? Okay, let me try that. Noriaki Teramoto. Oh, I missed it. Wait, did I, did I click the N in, its, in his name or the N in paint? What do you get from the donkey on the farm? I honestly, good, good question. Okay, I didn't have to press the in on his, on the paint. Uh, how do I know it worked? Oh, press the right mouse button, mouse button, and click on the in with the left button. Okay, my bad. All right, let me let me try one more time. There's no confirmation. That sucks. Okay, let's try now. I gotta click Mario to start. So let's cl let's click Mario and see if it worked. This part used to scare me as a kid. Like, who are these? Who are these men? And what is this music? I guess it's just a title screen music. Let's see. Okay, I got the right button undo. Is it bad I never seen Mario paint in motion outside the music before this? I remember it in Smash, but yeah, I played this a lot as a kid. Alright, so there's a problem here. And I was testing this earlier and found this, but um this game is laggy. Notice that the paint strokes like break apart. So I don't I think that might be an emulation thing, because I don't I, that never happened. I'm pretty sure it didn't happen in the actual game. So that's unfortunate. Okay, what does this uh what does the arrow do? Okay, right mouse button undo is kind of lame since it's only with, like one. That's an emulation. He's, oh man, that sucks. What's this one? It's a stamp, right? Wait, why is Luigi's face the one that does this? Try running at 200% speed? Yo, let's try speeding it up. Oh, that, does, that doesn't help. Airbrush? Sorry, I need to, I need to, like... Set the mouse to Cheetah. Well, I mean, like... I actually said it's a cheetah earlier and it didn't do much. Let's see. Cheetah. Well, that's, that's, that's really fast. That is uncontrollably fast. Like, I know that the Mario Paint mouse is actually way slower than this. You might need to reduce the mouse speeds on your computer. How do I do that? I, I saw people talking about that earlier too, like when I was trying to figure out, but... Oh, this, sh this is like the, the shape tool. Ugh, that is laggy as hell. Control panel. Is this the mid-maxing part where the high sensitivity and still low DPI comes into play? <laughs> okay, let's see. Control panel. Search mouse speed. Okay. Ooh, that that that's really painful. I found the speed, no worries. I don't think it helped though. This actually feels much worse. I appreciate it though. Oh, my, my wrist hurts doing this.
Try setting it to rabbit. I don't know if that's gonna do anything because this just it, it feels like I'm like moving a rock. It's weird because like it's kind of quick when I'm moving to the side to side, but if I hold if I go up and down, like it sucks. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna do my best to deal with how it was before. You know, let me let me try not like not putting it to the slowest. Maybe that'll help. You have to like fine tune it. It's still skipping, unfortunately. Yeah, it didn't skip the skipping. It didn't, it didn't fix the skipping issue. Enhanced pointer precision. Let me try to turn that off. Ooh, that made it even worse. Okay. All right. Thank you, though. Thanks for the help. Um, you know what? The fact that I'm going to suffer while doing this will probably make it better. It's an artist's job. Okay. Will he be drawing today? I should probably draw Bowser for Bowser Day or Bowser Week Part 2. Uh, this is the fill tool, right? <laughs> is this the clone tool? Alright. And E. These are like the different erasers. The noises it makes. I I'm always amazed at like how poor or like, not poor. Always amazed how like all the little things in this game. Show us the inner mechanisms of your mind on the cabinets. You don't want to see that. It always bothered me that the canvas color and the solid white weren't the same color. They must be a really subtle difference. That, that, that made the painting look pretty fucking scary. Like, there's some like weird intestine thing going on there. Okay, I need to know like, for those people who play both of them, is this better than Kid Picks? I remember I played Kid Picks a lot back in school. I really loved it. I mean, all my uh, all my experience with Mario Paint were when I visited my aunt, and she just had it. I played it a lot, but I didn't play it enough. To, like, it, well, yeah, it was part of my childhood. It was like, I think, did I play this or Kid Picks more? I don't remember. <laughs> I never use it, but I'm sure Kid Picks is way better. Anyone else think like when things fade out like that, it's really funny? <laughs> I always laugh when something just fades out like that. This rocket is in Mario Maker, right? What's this? Oh, this changes the canvas color. That might be useful, actually. Alright, what canvas what kind of colored canvas do we want? Rocket is a full reset in Mario Maker. I figured as much. Ugh! It doesn't even blend in right. Holy shit. What the hell is all these options? You know, I never explored all the oh god. I never explored all the options in Mario Paint because like they're just why are they upside down? Should they be upside down like that? That's weird. There's just like way too much stuff in here. Oh, that's doing weird things in my eyes. Why are these upside down? Have you ever played WarioWare DIY? Yes, I uh... I actually checked the box on the bottom left left. This box of it on the mini mini menu. Sorry if I'm not getting what you're saying. Check the box on the bottom left. 
This one, right? You got the Australian version. Yeah, I played WarioWare DIY, but um, like I, that made me realize I'm, I'm more of a consumer than a creator when it comes to video games. On the tour board with the brushes. Oh. This one up here? <laughs> oh! Oh, it's this! Oh, is that what that is? Hold on. Oh, that's what that is. Okay. Yeah, I asked this earlier, but like... I guess the people like didn't weren't able to answer. Okay, so yeah, sorry about that. I you know how dumb I can be. You're blocking some of the UI. Oh yeah, uh, sorry about that. You know I could go ahead and like move that. Go ahead and do that. We we already seen the image. I I feel bad like covering that, but okay. Ray cute giggles says who. Is this a raven? It's a it's a whale with some culturally insensitive lips. Okay. Thanks, Nintendo. I can't believe Ray placed replaced Ray from the banner. <laughs> oh, I hate note blocks. I love how everything right here gets like a small version up here. It makes sense, but like it's funny to me. They could have just like used the same image, but no. Decapitated Mario head. Oh, this is like the stamps you make, huh? Oh, but I thought about drawing Opal, but honestly. Okay, I'm almost done like looking at all this stuff. This is a text, right? I'm gonna enter full weeb mode here. Wait, can I make him bold? Oh, there it is. I already he's ordered. I know this is M.A. for Mario. Where's R.I.? I know like most uh, katakana, but I forgot a lot of it. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that the M's right here? Okay, so I just gotta find R. There it is. So, is it this one? You gotta put wa. That's not R. Wait. Is it? That's that's ru. This is it. There we go, Mario. You know, if uh, if that Japanese guy was here, he'd probably be so offended. That's Rue. No, Rue's the one where it curves up. I put Mari now. Okay, so let's see. Oh, this is the Sprite Maker. We'll visit that later. Coloring book. I like how if you don't know what that is, it looks like pun. <laughs> or poon. Oh yeah, I remember when I first discovered the coloring book as a kid. Like, I was... Oh my god, that was so cool. I had to look back because like this this snake is hilarious. Why is the question block that? Okay.
I actually forgot about this music. Why would you do that? Give Yoshi Mario colors and Mario Yoshi colors. Okay, I feel like I have to do that now. So that's music, that's mouse settings, and this is a uh, alt order, and that's the mini game. So back comes a time where Yoshi's only smiling on the outside. <laughs> okay, we're gonna give Mario Yoshi colors and Yoshi Mario colors. So uh, this is Yoshi colors. Oh no, that's the wrong wing. Oh, thank God I have right click undo. Mario's gonna be white for this. Skin should be green. Skin's gonna be completely white like how Yoshi's belly is. Or should it... Should it be... Should it's happy orange? Because Yoshi's... No, Yoshi's saddle is red, so let's, let's give Mario red. Red overalls too. Then make him skin green like he said. Okay, um, he's shirtless now, which should be fine, right? Oh, fuck this little pixel right here. Oh, I got it. Wait, that, that's not the right color, though. Okay, no, that was the wrong one. Wrong pixel. Okay, that was dumb, but I got it. Yo, she has blue eyes, like dark blue eyes. Does it mean Yoshi has to be flesh colored? Yes. You can't say you didn't see that coming. I wish I could zoom in, but it's like a fixed screen. Oh, I feel this in an uncomfortable place. Like, what part of the brush is actually the part that drops the color? Okay, so Yoshi gets Mario color. Shirtless Mario riding on a mount has to be someone's fantasy. <laughs> If I were more of the humans, it might be mine. Wait, has this always been blue or did I make that blue? Whatever, it's blue. Okay, so now it's Yoshi's turn. That's Ultra John Dice Mario. <laughs> he gets brown hair. Wait, which brown do I use? That one. Okay, we'll do flesh colored Yoshi. No, wrong. What's Mar What's Yoshi's it's like? What's Mario's pube color? Flesh colored Yoshi doesn't look that bad, considering the fact that like there's no little, there's like no skin texture, so it doesn't look weird. I've not even started my own drawing yet. Okay, brown shoes. With flesh undersoles, of course. I need a sanity check. Did you say what color are Mario's pubes? Don't forget that Mario's pubes are little Mario mustaches. You know it's true. I guess since there's so many colors of Yoshi, it's not so bad. Yeah, that's, that's like, guess, like I said, this isn't really like flesh colored. Maybe I need to like... What if I did this? That's like weird, the weirdest freckles. You said give, give Yoshi Mario skin and Mario Yoshi skin? Okay. There we go. Now it looks better, right guys? If anyone has trypophobia, I don't believe you. Okay. Let's continue with this little lovely image.
You know, I, I just can't fetishize the Mario mushroom. It just stares at me. It's just, it's just so wrong. Oh, well, let's put, let's make it like an autumn theme for this. It will look really nice. So this is like mud. No, no, it, it blends up with Yoshi's shoes. It doesn't work. Um, ocean colored. I'm going to have nightmares from this segment. The Mario mushroom is the perfect fetish content. It's a mushroom head. I mean, it, it has eyes. You made a ray plant. Uh, you know, gray would look awful. Let's do that. Oh, this is the first time you saw my the prana plant avatar? Yeah, I was using it all last week. Make the Sky Koopas. You know what, I should. Uh, they're, in a, they're in a deep forest, so the sky gets to be dark green. I have insulted the person in the chat called Gray by saying Gray would look awful. Oops. Wait, Mario's overalls are blue. That's what was missing all along. Okay, and then Mario's eyes are blue, so. There we go. She, that, that's what I was missing the whole time. I like how this paintbrush becomes sentient when it paints. Yeah, they kind of like peas. Yeah, I'm, I'm on the saddle. Don't worry. Um, you get the, you get the yellow rim for the buttons. It, you got, that's Mario's nipples colors. It's the buttons. And I'm, I'm, almost, I'm almost at the Koopas. Don't worry. That block is taken, so it's brown. Um... The clouds are gray because it's a de it's a depressing day today. All right, someone said make the sky Koopa, so that's what we're gonna do. Do they have a small Koopa, or is it just always that like two tile tall one? It really is just a two tile tall one. Okay. Oh, I can go back. Okay. The block is the most normal color here. Wait, no, I don't want that. Holy shit, it almost completes them. Wait, no, don't do that. Yeah, the Koopa invasion. This is what this is the plot of the Mario movie. All right, I think I'm pretty much done here. Now that doesn't work. Oh! Oh, the mushroom is mushroom colored. You're right. Wait, no, there's no mushroom to use. Never mind. Oh, no, there it is. The mushroom is mushroom colored, so. Okay. I think that's it now. Oh, that's an evil looking block. Alright. Thank you for looking at my beautiful painting. Let's see. I gotta figure out how to play it. Take a screenshot now. So, tools. How do I uh, take a screenshot on this um, sprite viewer? No. File. Let me let me let me check this real quick. Um, wait. Why are you why are you sending me a link? You took a screenshot for me, thanks. But I, I'm, I'm trying to get like a full quality to see. Mason, take screenshot. Press F to take a screenshot. Okay. So let's see. F12. You should have saved. Okay, cool. Um. All right. So where is it saved? In your Mason folder. Okay. I'm, I'm gonna look for it real quick. So, where the fuck is my Mason folder? Let's see. Open file location. Save state screenshots. Alright. I found it in all its glory. 
There it is. Man, that is blurry. Oh, it's only blurry because of how I'm just like stretching on screen. Okay, so that's the whole image, guys. Yes, I will be posting this. Alright, so let's go ahead and get rid of that. We're gonna start our next masterpiece. You basically captured the full cartridge tilting experience. I leave for three minutes and come back to this. You missed the entire magic. Alright, right. Let's go ahead and continue. So, um, we need to destroy him now. What do you, what do you guys want to destroy him with? Like, which option should we destroy him with? You destroy him with the mosaic, the TV static, the squares, the graphs, arrows, mosaic, fading, instant, or rocket. Static, I see static, okay. Static, there we go. <laughs> oh my god, it gets pretty scary when it goes farther in. This is Mario, remember, after a few kilos of peyote. SCP Mario. <laughs> static, it's what they deserve. Okay, so, we're going to, we're going to draw Bowser for Bowser Day. But first, I need to, uh, fill the screen. I need to, like, pick a different color. Okay, Bowser, you're- you get a, uh... Orange background. Because Bowser, like- Bowser, like, had orange in Super Mario Kart. That was, like, his color. Then Donkey Kong took it. But we don't tell him about that. Okay, so... So let's see, um, right, so, I did draw a little slowly because the, the mouse is kind of dumb. I, I can't even get this curve here. All right, so, uh, I need to, I need to capture the essence of Bowser, so I know, I know what to do. I need to make him look vengeful. He needs to be angry. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna do like a bust shot because uh, my I, I suck at this. So we're we're just blocking in everything. Then we're gonna add the details later. Is it possible to hook up your draw pad to this? I've actually done a thing where like I I didn't draw on Mario Paint, but I uh I had I played this rhythm game that needed a touch screen. Like you use your mouse on the computer, but if you had a tablet like I did, you could just like play it like that. He's angry at the fact that he's trapped in Mario Paint. This is the first time Ray's ever drawn in his life. Well, yeah, th now this is draw. This is draw racing. I wonder what Bowser's bust size is. Um, you know what the size is when I'm drawing him. Okay, so. Okay, th this is Bowser so far. So, all right. Now, after blocking it in, let's, let's do the details. Wait, I need. I need to finish his nose. Alright, so let's go ahead and. That's his nose. I think his nose went too low. I need to, like, get a thinner brush for this. Looks like impressionist art. <laughs> I wish I was good enough to make impressionist art. But unfortunately, that's out of my pay grade. Shave it off. Move. There's something on my desk I was getting in the way. I have to move it. Shaving Bowser. There's some weird artists that draw him with facial hair, even though he doesn't have any. Okay. I'm not a weird artist, I mean like weird artists. Like in like mult plural. I like my Bowser Daddy clean. Well personally I'm not I'm not really into body hair either, so that that's why. No, I'm gonna keep those lines, I think they look cool. The, the little lines on this horn. Right, so 
clear this out a bit more. Just think of all the art on mouse will somehow transfer to FPS skills. I don't play mouse FPS, I play Splatoon. To be honest, the motion control the controls are like one of the reasons why I wanted to play wanted to play Splatoon so badly. Like I tried the test fire, I was not convinced at all when I first saw it, but like I tried the test fire, I'm like, oh my god, this is so fun. Draw using a switch controller. I think there's a uh there is a mod for this game that lets you use the controller. Jack Black has facial hair, so it's only fair. Yeah, you're right about that. You're you're right. I, you're absolutely right. I can't just that. But uh, Jack Black is not my kind of daddy, which might be appalling to some. But man, I I wish he would shave. He, he's a he's a great and funny man, but man, that that beard needs to go. It doesn't help that he decided to go for the pube style. Okay. That's right, I am right, so I apologize right now. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm sorry that Peaches is a bad song. Okay. These are the inner machinations of a potted plant. Oh, it goes deeper than that. I'm glad I'm forgiven. I'm less satisfied that I saw Jack Black in Prana Plant art. I mean, I'd ship him. I, I love... You know, I was gonna joke about that, but like... Like calling Bowser Jack Black, but like, I can't say it in this context. I agree with that, I do not like peaches. I think it sucked. I hate the fact they got some kind of nomination for some kind of award or whatever. It was probably the most Jack Black part of Bowser though. Man, this is rough. I will never open up commissions for this by the way, so don't even bother jokingly asking. I forgot his collar. Well, shit. Right button on do is really nice. I blame the song more than the artist in this case. Well, to be fair, like that's, that's such a Jack Black thing to do is sing Peaches. I've never watched School of Rock though, so maybe I'm wrong. It really was all in his heart, which I think I think Jack Black's performance is why people thought the song was even any kind of good. I don't want to think of a ray plant being six feet tall and running with a hammer towards me. Sorry, it exists, so. Not that I'm bringing it up on the stream. You can find it, like, you know where to find that stuff. Do you hear this is a pretty accurate representation of a panic attack? Do we joke about commissioning you in general then? Real talk, I'm so glad that people actually want to. Like I'm a very lucky person. I can't people I can't believe people will like actually like splurge hundreds of dollars on my art. I hope you guys aren't wasting all your money. Oh, hold on. My Tamagotchi was going off. Oops. Mario Paint, you could wait. You go wait. Feed your baby. I did. It's okay now, it's a full, full, not hunger. This will be tomorrow's stream image, most likely. 
Okay. Let me get this part back here. This part back here really has been neglected for too long. So, thin that out. Now that I'm jawless, all my cash is blood money. It's endless. I'm not a vampire. I can't accept that. God, that's rough. You know, I don't even remember what I even drew on here when I was a kid. I don't even think I did draw. I can't believe Ray has higher standards than my bank. Higher standards. I like to think I have some standards. I'm like having to re readjust myself in my seat constantly because of this game. My god. What's easier to draw with? Mario Paint or the Miiverse slash Mario Maker drawing screen? You got me there. I don't got a good answer for that. Or Splatsuit. I actually had a stylus for the, uh, the that draw. They had a capacitive stylus I used to draw the uh, draw for Splatoon three posts for the couple times I did it. So that was cool. It's called the Adonit Jot Pro, and for you Jot fans, that's where he got his name from. I bought it for like thirty bucks at Target. It was a nice. It's nice for like a capacitive phone that doesn't natively support uh, some sort of a some sort of stylus. But then I got a Samsung Galaxy Note, and like fuck that, I don't need that anymore. It's so much better. I remember before COVID, like before COVID times, I actually went out a lot to like McDonald's and stuff to like just sit there and draw on my phone. But then COVID happened, so I had to like stop doing that so much. Imagine a jot cookie jar. Yeah, take off his head and get the cookies inside. Unfortunately, that means he ate them. I love all in your character rosters. All the inspirational fields are filled with cute and whimsical things, yet Jot's inspiration is medieval executioner. Yep, Jot's one of the reasons why I wanted to redesign all the wolves, so... And that was like one of the first things that comes to mind. He was a gardener at first, but like I didn't like his design like at all. McDonald's Wi-Fi drawing sounds cursed. It was pretty relaxing. I just kind of sat there, ordered some food, and drew some stuff on my iPad. It was really cool. That was back when I used my iPad for drawing anyway. Man, I don't know. The Drawing is supposed to be relaxing, but I'm so tensed up doing this right now. Job was a gardener, and then he wanted to water the flowers of the blood of his enemies. No, he liked hedge. He liked cutting hedges. Where the hell is the Mario Paint fan game anyway? That like kind of just like modernizes it. I know if you modernize it, you kind of lose like lose everything that made it special. But I mean, that's not like that hasn't happened to other series. Get the circle right. I said circle, not circle. I feel like I need to move his mouth down, but I don't think there's like a mover tool in here.
Hey, this is taking a while, isn't it? It's already been like an hour since I started. Oh no, it's been 45 minutes, which is like close enough to an hour, I guess. Now, see, see, I'm barely saying anything, and that's a uh, that's why I don't like voice chat during. Or I don't have my voice on during uh, actual streams, like art streams, because like there's just nothing I could talk about. Talk of fine point stylus. Fine point stylus remind me. I tried to get precise stylus for my phone that was a ballpoint size, but I misread the description. What I got instead was a regular stylus Frankenstein with an actual ballpoint pen. Oh yeah, like are you talking about those like those rubber tip styluses with they have a pin on the back? Yeah, I used to buy those all the time to draw with. They don't really work that well. I mean, they're they're good for like general stuff, but for drawing, you're better off just getting like something more serious. I gotta admit though, I I, I do miss like traveling and then just drawing in random places. So just don't do that anymore because like I don't need to anymore. The ballpoint part was actually pretty okay. Sounds about right. Okay. Now I can finally move down here to his bust. Wait. This actually looks good. Thank you. I mean, I, I'm giving it an honest shot. This isn't a meme stream. I'm like, I'm, I'm legit playing this and like trying. It just like, it comes with so much anxiety. Like I'm actually, I feel so tense doing this. <laughs> I tried drawing once, it made me start to contemplate everything I ever did. Uh, my my tip for art is don't do it for money because man, it's so draining. This is similar to a technique I did like two years ago. It's not, I don't do that anymore, but like, I, it was like a really messy, like sketchy lines. A lot of it were like, a lot of it was just like very, um, it was very like off, off weight. Like there were so many like different line weights because of it. And it looks, it, I like the way it look, looked, but like, then I started, then I started to do it for money. I was like, no, I can't. I gotta make it look nice. So I just stopped doing it like that. I love drawing teeth like that. You notice I do it all the time, and I love doing it every time. I'm gonna fill in this part. It doesn't need to be unfilled. It's it's less. It's more fulfilling than my life. So many alternate styles are so cool. Thank you. I uh. You know, I, I get bored of doing the same thing over and over, so it's, it's always nice to switch it up. If you ever want to experiment with art, like, do it. Art's all about experimenting. You're never going to find, like, what you're comfortable with unless you experiment. It's going to be his cheek. The thing I hate about fangs, and I think I'm kind of, like, doing right here, is that, like, it kind of looks like bug teeth, and I hate when that happens. But I really wish I could flip the canvas right now. <laughs> I don't think this this thing has a canvas flip without some kind of heavy repercussions. I'll just leave it dotted like that. It looks it looks kind of nice. And of course that dotting is going to keep happening just because of the emulation. I really like clean but sketchy art styles. There's something about it that feels amateur but professional. I love really sketchy styles. It looks it looks always it always looks so cool. The hard part is making it look like it's not rushed. Which some people can just do so good. I'm not one of those people, sadly. He's gonna have like a bad case of baby hand syndrome. Oops. 
Sometimes you won't discover a technique you really like doing until you figure out entirely by accident. Actually, one of my least favorite things in art is that so much of the stuff you that you improve with is just it just act, just like an accident you have at some point. Like you'll do something you're like, wait, why am I doing it this way when I should be doing it this other way? And it's like, oh my god, it's clicking. Like it's it's really hard. I, I, this is probably like true for a lot of things, but as someone who's an artist, I, I especially feel this feel this. But, um, like, you, you can't really, like, teach so much stuff. Like, there's so much stuff in art that you have to learn on your own. And it sucks because I don't, I, I want to be helpful. I want to help people draw. But there's some stuff I can't, like, teach you. You have to do it on your own. Baby Bowser hand syndrome. I had, a, I had an Oreo cookie earlier and it had Bowser Jr.'s face on it. I was surprised to see he was one of the ones... He was one of the faces you can get from the Mario Oreos. Again, I'm trying to make Bowser look vengeful. And that's that's what he is right now. He's vengeful. I am hungry. Maybe I should eat another Mario cookie. Okay. Give him a thumb as well. He needs, he needs his thumb. For maximum vengefulness. Bowser Jr. isn't even in the Mario movie. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Considering how like prominent he's been in the past few years. I remember I used to hate Bowser Jr. And I grew to like him a lot. But back in Sunshine, he just felt so bad. But to be fair, that, that game is Sunshine, so you can understand. It's like a weird webbing going on. Let me fix that. Do you think in the sequel Bowser's gonna find out he has a long lost son and hate him? I think in the sequel he's just gonna like Bowser Jr. is gonna just gonna be there and they're never gonna explain it. And to, to be honest, I'm a little upset because there was so much stuff they could have explained in the Mario movie and they just didn't, like how blocks fall, float and stuff like that. But they, they just didn't want to explain anything. RIP Sunshine's reputation. I'm sorry, I'm one of those people who think like Mario Sunshine's a good game, but like it's like the worst 3D Mario. I'm not, actually no, I'm not even sorry for that. That's not even a hot take either. Actually, the real hot take is a uh, is that Mario Galaxy is better than Mario Odyssey. Full stop. Okay, so we're gonna head. We now that all the line work is cleaned up, I can finally get to uh, to coloring him. You're entitled to your wrong opinion. I'm not taking that from someone who hasn't played all the Mario games. Give more hot takes. Uh, I think Other M is a good game with some really bad uh, segments. If you really think that Other M is a bad game, you have no idea how bad it could be. Sonic 06 is right over there. Yeah, I know this has been discussed before, but Sonic 06 could definitely be Sonic Adventure 3. It had the potential. I I didn't... I, I actually kind of liked Sonic 06 when, when uh, it worked. But it really is as bad as people say. I have played Mario 64 DS, and that's a 3D Mario game that's not as good. Yeah, but you gotta judge it on the merits of the fact that it's a remake. For what it is, it's pretty good. It really does suck how the controls just ruin Mario 64 DS though. I don't need anything else after just mentioning Other M in any way. I'm an Other M apologist. I actually loved the game when I first played it. I was surprised when people were, were shitting on it really hard because I'm like, wait. Did we play the same game? And I'll admit, there's some stuff, there's some dumb stuff in there, but I don't think it's as bad as people say. I didn't know. Like, when was, yeah, you, know, you know, I'm not even getting a discussion about this. I don't, I don't need, to, no, no, I'm stopping myself right there. Okay. Oh, I, I need a, I need a darker gray that's not completely black for his collar. I don't like the way that looks. Can I just dither it? Was that going to look bad? 
Let's talk about Splatoon. I had a terrible match earlier. Like Playing Backliner really shows you how terrible some people are. Like, people really will just, like, rush in and feed. It's like, come on. At least, like, look before you jump into the enemy's territory. If you, if three enemies are up and there's only two people on our team, you need to just hang back for a second. Is feeding a term in Splatoon 2? I mean, I assume it's the same as any other game. It reminds me of League of Legends. I'm pretty sure that's where the term came from. It gives me conniptions. Conniption is a funny word. I love that word. I don't know what feeding means. Basically, you just you keep running straight into. You just keep like getting getting splattered by the enemy team. It's like you're feeding them. You're feeding them your soul. I'm gonna make his cheek bigger. Fucking embarrassing. Feeding is more so giving enemy the team gold and experience, which makes it harder to fight back. Well, yeah, Splatoon's a MOBA, and you can't stop me from saying that. Now I, I've finally been able to say it on stream, and you can't you can't stop me. I'm used to that just being called cannon fodder. I would say that, but it's not like there's it's not like anyone else is shooting them into it. Splatoon is a racing game because I race to the middle. That's funny. I remember when I tried F Zero, and it's like, well, yeah, now I understand why Mario why Mario Kart stuck stood around and you didn't. I got bored of F Zero. Splatoon is a MOBA, no wonder I'm repelled by it. Go ahead, tell me why Splatoon isn't a MOBA. That's what I thought. Okay. Um. Maybe I should dither the background. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's like a comic now. Let's do that. I realized the outbound ghost didn't get good reviews. I don't know what that is, but it does remind me that sometimes I'm glad that I'm like stuck in the Nintendo bubble because whenever I get out of it, I see terrible things all the time. Like, I'll see like, oh, this company did this thing and now now this other company's going under from that them being evil. And it's like, Nintendo does some stupid stuff, but a lot of it seems to be like incompetence from the just old being like being an old company meanwhile like so many other companies i read about seem so malicious in what they do and then i just think to myself man i'm i'm glad that mario strikers battle pass or whatever whatever the fucking switch one is called is like it, it's bad because it's like they, they they were stupid about the updates it's not bad because they were predatory with the updates you know what i'm saying Oh, you're talking about another Paper Mario game that was like, like Bug Fables? Oh yeah, I remember that one time when like, a bunch of these Paper Mario clones got announced. I'm like, wow, every- I, I, Look, I know Paper Mario is really good, and we all miss the old good ones. Uh, but, you don't all have to steal the paper style. Like, it was kind of cute when Bug Fables did it, and I can understand like, them doing it. But then everyone, like, who makes a Paper Mario RPG has to do it just like that. Battle League, yeah, that's the one. You have a PC, you'll slowly break out. I play games on my PC sometimes, but like, not all the time. I mostly stick to my Switch. But yeah, I'm I'm already sick of this Paper Mario resurgence just because they they they, they just all look, they all have to look like that. 
Note that the Paper Mario stuff, like, people don't like it because of the paper thing. They like it because it has a great gameplay with some funny writing and great music. Like, there, there, there are Paper Mario fans who complain about the paper references these days. So stop, don't steal the fucking style. Especially when there's, like, no reason to use it. I don't think that's a hot take either. See, they look, they look at Paper Mario on the surface only in some of these cases. That's what it seems like, yeah. Like, I, know, I remember South Park, the stick of truth was being compared to Paper Mario a lot, and like, yeah, South Park looks like like paper characters, but like it was it didn't it wasn't ripping out the style. It's about being recognizable as a Paper Mario successor. Well, that's a shitty thing to do. Like, think about stuff like Ukulele, how how badly it, it how badly done it was because it tried so hard to be Banjo Kazooie, but then Hat in Time and Shovel Knight always did. They're always a, a, the the references I go to. Shovel Knight and Hat in Time were amazing because they didn't feel like they were ripping off anything. They felt they were inspired. And same thing with Pizza Tower, like, I, I was really enjoying Pizza Tower. I don't like Wario games, I don't care about them. But, like, it felt like its own good thing. I'm just gonna put that back. You know what I mean? I'm getting kind of tired of games being catered to being an eSport than just a video game. Okay, so about that, I actually didn't know anything about that, because, again, I'm stuck in the Nintendo bubble. Until it happened to Bomberman, and Konami wanted to, like, Try to make a battle royale mode. Not, not battle royale. They try to make some kind of tower defense MOBA mode. I don't know anything about it, but it looks like they're trying to do some kind of esports with Barman. As if people are going to care about that. I wanted to shade this, but I can't. Think. I guess I could dither it. I don't want to dither it though. Okay, I'm almost done. Um. Right, so, you know, I was about to give him a white speech bowl, and he's a black one because he's Bowser. I just realized this is going to be awful to type in. They should make an Among Us mode for the new Bomberman. To be fair, it could work. Well, you to assume that people care about Bomberman. It's not me, it's fucking... It's Konami that does. Okay, so let's see. Imagine if some kid in the 90s drew something like this in Mario Paint. Um, I remember... Like, people have done some great things in Mario Paint. Don't, don't downplay it. I miss Barman. There's a new one coming out in September, and it does, it looks pretty bland. Okay, I wonder if I could fit this in. Right, let's see. There you go. Uh, Bowser when he gets you, he'll get something. The Bleed is a good game. It has some cool ideas. Oh, could I put ill? I hate this. Oh god, do I hate this. I'm too weenie to play ill bleed myself. But watching the videos on it was cool. Ray when he doesn't want to take Mario Paint with his fetishes. I uh, I was going to and then I just wanted to do this instead. Like I need, I need to sink, I need to like sink into it. In fact, I might do another stream of this if this has been fun for you guys. Has it been fun? I don't know. This is like the Pac-Man font. Is there no exclamation points? Wait. Why is there Chinese in here? Oh, that must be kanji. This has been very fun. Thanks. 
There you go. See, this is why Bowser is vengeful because he's mad about Chris Pratt. He he wishes that Peach would love him instead of Chris Pratt. But Jack Black just needs to get his revenge. This has been fun. I got to see the machinations. We're not done yet, by the way. This drawing is almost done, though. So. Okay, we're gonna put some like angry spikes on this bubble. Bowser's really, really mad about Chris Pratt, so we gotta we gotta make sure to reflect that. Let me let me draw an apostrophe here. I don't know if there's an apostrophe there. Okay, cool. Wait, that's a dumb apostrophe. I, I press I press Control Z on my keyboard. Oops. There we go. That's much that's much better. Okay. You know what? I'm going for it. I want to give him the cape that was in Mario Mario Three. Like there's this one art of Mario Three where Bowser has a cape and it looks so good. So I'm gonna give him that. He he he'll be nice and cozy now. Go ahead and like look up Mario 3. He like, he also has black eyebrows, but I'm just gonna do the cape. That is a very CDI looking cape. No, no, not that one. Thank you. Capes are hot, yeah. It's true. It's true. Okay. Um, I think that's it. I think that is the uh that is the Bowser. That is the Bowser for tonight. So uh, let's go ahead and save screenshot F12. All right, let me let me bring it up on screen so that you guys can see it without all the stuff on the screen. So there we go. Transform center. Wait. Hit the screen. It, it was like the same thing, but it just got blurry. <laughs> oh no, the mouse cursor is still on there. Oh, I, I gotta save a different screenshot. No, wait, wait, don't get rid of that. Wait, I know it. I gotta get the border. There we go. Oh, it's like a manga panel now. Oh, look how badass that looks. Hell yeah. All right. So you know what? Let's let's save. Wait, no, I want to get rid of that. I didn't mean to draw on that. Get out of here. This is such a good bow bow. Thank you. Um, let, me, let me go ahead and uh, save. So, save. All right. Start. I had commissioned the artist. I'm never doing this as a commission. I've done a lot of different things. Like when I, I do sprite art, I do animations, I do 3D models, people are like, oh, I want a commission. I'm like, no, no, you, you see, if I start doing that, it's gonna stop being fun. So no, I'm never gonna do commissions of like weird things like this. I'm guys gonna put piss crat in jail forever. <laughs> it made me so happy they brought this song back from Mario Maker. I'm so happy that both Mario Maker and Smash had referenced Mario Paint so well. I hope it doesn't get an error and doesn't save. I guess I could always save state. Oh, he turned into Mario. He turned into Chris Pratt. He, he trapped Chris Pratt. He did it. Okay. So. There's an animation. Oh, man. That would be... that. You know, you know what? If I do another one... Of this, I will. Uh, I will try the animation next time. For now, let's, let's go for. The, let's go to the music ma music maker. All right. Um, let's look at the sample songs first. So we got this one. I 
I think about this a lot. In fact, in fact, let me go to it real quick. It's right here. That Yoshi right there. That it it stuck to my mind forever. Like every time I listen to here, dun 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 dun, dun, dun I think about the Yoshi. Burp, burp, burp. Fast, fast. Did you also replace the area of the Yoshi, Yoshi instrument? I think I did. Wait, is this a bird beak? I just got that. Is that... It is! I never knew what that was as a kid. Oh, that ending is so funny. Isn't this Tingle Tingle Little Star? No, it's ABCs. Like, why did they have to go... Like, I, I hate using this term, but like, why did they have to go hard at the ending? Stop. No, oh, I can't play from there, okay. I think about this arrangement so much. Like, why is it ending? Like, why did they go so hard on it? <laughs> like, God damn! Right, clear, Mario, stop. Meow. Okay, so something cool is like, like obviously this is Mario World music, and this one is Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. As a kid, of course, I don't understand. I, I never knew what this was. A lot of I don't think anyone in America knew what this was, but this is like the Japanese Mario Paint commercial song, which is pretty cool. Let's do it fast. I love that all the Mario Paint covers that are still being made as we speak. Yeah, that that that's pretty cool that people still use this. My boyfriend does music composing. He will. I keep telling him, "Hey, do the Mario Paint composer," and he just doesn't. Go back, go back, stop. So let's see. What happens if I put it in three fourths? Nothing, nothing happens. I used to make up lyrics to the song as a kid. I've done that to other songs too. But yeah, I remember the commercial for the Japanese. This is a Japanese commercial music. Not it never. I don't think it aired in America, so of course we don't know it. Okay. Um. Right, so. <laughs> I love the way that sounds. All right, so. I need like a, a Bowser theme. So the, 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 there's that one from Mario that goes da 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 Alright, so. Okay, they, it, no, that doesn't go like that. So. Alright, so that, that that's an excellent start. So. No, that's. Space them out? Wait. Let's try. Let's try four four. Wait. I can, I don't know what this does. I'm not a music person. That, that's too far. I I can't space them out. That like this song in particular needs them close like that. So I'm gonna space these ones out though. So.
Yeah, it goes all the way up there. So just Dude, that's too that's too far away. I don't think anyone knows this song. I should do a different one. I should do one that people actually know. I'm gonna do the Mario 3 Athletic theme instead. We're gonna use the Game Boy because I like the Game Boy sound. Is that right? Was that right? I think they need to go higher, but I don't know. They could go higher. I don't know if it's right. <laughs> oh, come on. I'm not the only one who knows this song. I think I have to put it higher, actually. Too low. Okay, let me erase these now. How's it gonna sound like this? <laughs> I think that's right. Does Mario Paint let you add a flat or sharp modifier to a note? I don't think so. And of course, I was also one of those kids who spent hours in the, the composer. Okay, let's continue. All right. Oh, finally, like copy paste. So it starts on this line. All right. Now it sounds like the actual song. Okay. Is this from Nintendo? Well, yeah. Were you not here during the Mario 3 stream? Wait, let's see that. <laughs> Alright. I did know you know how to write music. I don't. A miserable pile of wahoo funny jumps. That's what this stream is. Wait, did I make it? I, I think I made something. They need to redo this. Wait. You're really good at making music for an amateur. That it is. This isn't my. This isn't my song.
You're good at backhanded compliments. That was that to that other person. That's funny. Okay, let me hear what it sounds like right now. Oh no! Oh, it's gotta be spaced! I knew something felt was already off. Okay, so I can do this. I can fix this. Anyone who like does music on modern programs, like you're so spoiled. Not that I would know. Oh God, did I erase the wrong notes? Oh, that was wrong. Okay, time to do it all the way back from the beginning again. Oh, God. I'm like miss. I'm like messing, missing where the uh, misremembering where they are. No, no, not right there. Don't go right there. Right here. No, up here. Let me see. Oh, okay. So I saw our, those are supposed to go lower. It goes progressively lower. That's my bad. All right. So I can fix this. Fingers itchy. Alright, let me see. 
Cool. I did it. Did that? Wait, wait. Oh, Mario like cries when I stop. <laughs> Ran out of time. Okay, cool. I don't think I need to torture anyone else here with this anymore. What was this sound? Oh no! No, don't do that. Oh, oh, that's that. I put it over the stops, I guess. Okay. Does it stop right there? Sounds sinister, it's perfect for Bowser. <laughs> oh no, the loops is too close. Okay, let me fix that real quick. You know what's funny is you say it's, it. It kind of sounds like it's in minor key now that you mentioned like it's sounding sinister. One more time. All right, just a little bit further back. All right, my creation is complete now. Oh man, I hope this saves. Why do I care? So, oh god, you know what? Save state. Save state. I don't want to lose this. I put too much time and effort into this. Save state. Yes, it's save state now. Now everyone will remember this. Oh god, is this still there? It's still there. Okay, cool. Crisis averted. It should save you, leaving me. Okay. All right, you know what we gotta do? We need to save this now, so save. Start. I can't wait to hear this on the SoundCloud. <laughs> we gotta turn this into the Chris Pratt's face once more. I can't lose this. I, I can't believe how long this takes to save. Ray becoming a SoundCloud artist is pretty funny. And I'm sure, me like most of you, I'm pretty sure everyone like thinks like they like humming. They're just like humming a tune and making something up in your head. Like, don't you just sometimes wish you had like a mini composer to just save it? What if you just like hum into a program and it just makes music like that? Wait, what's that little hole for? Is that little hole like, is my data gonna be dumped in a little hole? Nice. Load. Okay. Oh, I guess it did dump when it loads. Okay. Cool. All right. Okay, so one last thing before we end. I wish my brain worked like Mario Paint or Mario Artist, or you know Chris Pratt himself. Okay. So we're gonna do the fly swatter mini game. The King of Pop would save melodies by humming them into cassette tapes. That makes sense. I'm no composer though, so okay. We're gonna do this mini game. All right. So, so it's it's fly swat attack or something. I'm not good at this mini game. I remember when I was a kid, this mini game scared me because the way the death is for the uh, hand, the, like the the face it makes it scared the hell out of me. Oh god, get it! Does it still scare you? We'll find out. It kind of scared me a bit. A little bit. 
The sound effects creeped me out a lot as a kid. To be honest, the sound effects is what really like made my made my heart jump a bit. When does the boss one come in? Okay, okay, I can defeat those. I like how they're ball bombs. Get up here. Who needs aim labs when I got this? It spawns on the boss, the number is on 9? Okay. Look at the big flies. When it spawns a 0, not 9? Okay. I mean, 0 is right next to the 9 key, so I understand. I don't know what aim labs is. It sounds like it's a reference to something. No, don't attack me. No, my hand does not need to be stung. No! When he gets to Mighty Number no. 9. <laughs> I still remember the best thing that Mighty Number no. 9 did for me is like giving me $3 back when I sold it. Oh, epileptic warning. Oh no! Oh, that's that actually startled me. No! It's a damage race! I need to beat it before it beats me. Oh god. One more. No! No! Okay, good, I still have one more HP. I win! Oh yeah, take that, I win. Yeah, Mario helped. Level 2? Oh no, I'm not doing this again. By the skin of your fingernails, I'll say. Aim Labs is a tool that lets you replicate the aim camera settings from other games to practice under the shooting range. Can you do that in real life? Exit. I actually, I actually didn't know there was another level of that. Okay. I guess that's it for, for tonight, huh? Alright. The warrior version of that track is even better. I need to hear it. Okay, so um, we're gonna go ahead and destroy him. So how will we destroy Bowser? How are how are we gonna destroy Jack Black? We need to save Chris Pratt. How are we gonna destroy Jack Black tonight? I guess I could just like erase him all the way. Like you could just watch me erase him with the smallest eraser for the next twenty minutes. Rocket. Okay, rocket it is. We're gonna rocket Bowser out of here. Jack Black, you're getting rocketed. Sit him to the principal office and have him expelled. You mean rocketed, right? Rocket! <laughs> the clown horn. Alright. That's it for the Mario Paint stream, guys. I, I really appreciate everyone being here. That was fun. Who knows? Is it too late for the smallest eraser? I'm not doing the smallest eraser. I'm going to, uh... I might do this tomorrow if anyone wants it. Just uh, let me know at tomorrow's draw stream if you want to see more Mario Paint. I don't know what I'll draw next time, but I mean... Oh, I'll, I'll do the animation. You know, yeah, maybe tomorrow I'll do Mario Paint I'll do the animation. Okay? We're still, we're holding up Pizza Tower for a little bit for this. But, you know, it's still Bowser Week. It's, it's Bowser Week Part 2. So, thanks a lot for everyone for coming. I hope you all have a good night. Um, see you tomorrow. Bye.